Today, Disney's stock was tumbling. Bob Iger allegedly refused the Duchess of Overseas as she wanted to buy shares from Walt Disney. Suddenly, a news story was leaked that Disney and Amazon were in the talks for a partnership over entertainment and sports programming network, or ESPN, for a new profitable venture. It didn't matter that the talks are in very early stages, so early that most businesses wouldn't dare make a word of it public yet. Nor that even if the talks progress and an agreement reach, it would be at least four years before a venture could be started. ESPN has existing contracts with the major cable networks that include non-compete clauses in regards to streaming. A mysterious leak to news outlets just magically happened right as the stocks were tumbling to the lowest point in about a decade. Funny how that happened. After the news broke, the falling stock stabilized and plateaued right as the day was coming to an end on Wall Street. An insider confirms that Amazon.com is in preliminary discussions with Walt Disney Co. about a partnership involving the streaming version of ESPN. Amazon could potentially acquire a minority stake in the sports network. In other words, Iger is basically selling ESPN to Amazon, even if it is a minority part. That's not good for Iger. It means Disney streaming is a flop. So Iger is making this announcement because he needs his investors to not lose confidence. A Hollywood source reveals that Megan is a connoisseur. Somehow she knew Disney's troubles. The source say that Megan has big ambitions, so she is eyeing buying Bob's stake to join ESPN. Despite the financial crisis, Megan doesn't want to miss the big project, even asking Harry to use his inheritance to buy it. Disney streaming has been hemorrhaging money. They're about to also have to cough up the payment to finish buying Hulu. They don't currently have the money. Bob's playing Megan game here in the short term. Iger, buying up other companies, spent money like a drunken sailor. Financially speaking, they have much, much bigger fish to fry, but not Megan and Harry. Disney's big budget not yet released Snow White film is already dead in the water because of their very Meganesque lead actress and then you look at the storyline and it is cringe. In the past, Megan requested that the money from Elephants voiceover goes to the Botswana organization Elephants Without Borders instead of payment for her voiceover. The noble gesture of Prince Harry's wife was appreciated by the public. However, after some time, Angela Levine who is a royal biographer, noted that the money must likely not go to the organization's account. Disney has promised $3 million will go to a charity for making Meghan Markle the narrator of the documentary. The producer said the amount went to the Duchess of Sussex, and it seems the charity did not receive the amount. It was also said by someone that promising charitable donations to drum up interest in commercial projects, but not making said donations is fraud. Australia had a chick called Belle Gibson do exactly that. I'm not sure where the prosecution is up to, but they went after Dear Belle, and she was very high profile. With mega deals signed with Apple etc., no one is above the law, and Megan should be investigated.